Hey, I'm Jantastic. This is React Holiday, a 25 day crash course through React. And today, day 16, we're talking about Use Reducer. Now, Use Reducer is effectively a more complex, more powerful state management hook. So we've seen Use State in action. Use Reducer is just more powerful. So I've made a little bit of a change to our application to show you how, uh, how it gives us more control. Uh, so right now on any very one of these clicks, as I click through, I am uh, getting JSON for a new Pokemon using the Pokemon URL that we get from the API. And then uh, taking that JSON and calling set Pokemon to update state with the new JSON. So I wanna take this and I want to change it to use reducer. Now this is a pretty direct refactoring. So we're gonna change, take that, we're gonna change uh, use reducer. Uh, and now this is gonna break my app, it's not gonna be able to do anything. And that's because we need to implement a function. This is where we take full control over updating the state in our application. Now, typically we would provide it some type of reducer function, but in this case, because we're just re-implementing use state, it's pretty easy. We basically just want to return some new state. Now, right here is going to be the first argument to our function is going to take the uh, old state, the previous state, and then uh, the second one in this case alone is going to take the uh, is going to be the new state, uh, the state that we're calling our function with set Pokemon here. Now this is all going to change tomorrow, but uh, I just want to show you the the big difference between use state and use reducer is just this function. So click through, and everything works as it did before. So if you want to implement Use state using use reducer. This is how you do it.